Gracias. Thank you very much uh, for coming tonight. Uh, my translator is coming. Yes. Bueno, gracias por venir. Where? Yes, sir. Thank you. He's going to translate for me tonight. Uh, my name is Billy. I play bass. Bueno, el Billy toca el bajo. I've played for over 50 years. Toca hace 50 años o más. That means I'm an old man. Está un poco viejo. But I got to see Jimi Hendrix play. Ah. Pero yo tocar a Jimi Hendrix. My first concert ever, Jimmy Anderson. So uh, I've learned many things over my 50 years. Aprendí una cosa dos en los 50 años. And my purpose uh, to come here to Montevideo tonight, uh, my first time to Uruguay, is to uh, show you some things that maybe would help you with your career and with your music. Yeah. Y una de las razones por venir acá a Uruguay por primera vez es poder analizar todo eso que aprendí en todo ese tiempo para I am very, very grateful and very lucky to have had uh, some success. <laughs> and, but I want to, uh, my goal tonight is to uh, give to you anything I can to help you achieve your goal in music. But today it's about you, it's about you to uh, this is not so much uh, just to come play fancy licks, but I want to be able to answer any questions that I can that will help you to do better uh, as a musician, a performer, songwriter, uh, or many other things. Claro, esto no solamente es mostrar piques, sino es hacerles entender un poquito qué implica ser un ser músico exitoso y cómo ayudarles a hacer eso. And it's a great honor to be here in Uruguay for the first time. Thank you very much for bringing me. Y es una honra estar aquí por primera vez en Uruguay, so muchas gracias por por lo traído. I think uh, we may be coming back uh, with Mr. Big also. Yeah. 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 That makes me very happy. We have a brand new record. We're just finishing now. It's called uh, Defying Gravity. Eh, están terminando el nuevo disco que se llama Defying Gravity, que es básicamente como desafiando la gravedad. And uh, it's coming very soon. Eh, muy pronto. So, so what? They're asking when is Mr. Big coming here? When? When is Mr. Big coming here? I don't know. Uh, Pablo, do you have a date? August. August? August? I I said August? Uh, he's uh, interested in understanding more about the three-finger technique. Yes. 
get asked oftentimes about my three fingers. It's very common. Uh, basically, well, I use four fingers, sometimes a, a sometimes I turn down a little bit. So you're never a good or bad bass player by how many fingers you use. 
La cantidad de dedos no indica lo bueno o malo que sean como bajitas. Most importantly always is the music that comes from your instrument. Y lo más importante como siempre es la música que sale del instrumento. And finding your place in the band so your band sounds great. Y encontrar algo en la banda para que la banda suene bien. I do some soloing in some of the bands I play in. Eh, hace un poquito de solo también en las bandas que él toca. But it's actually pretty rare to be in a band where there's a bass solo. Pero es raro encontrar una banda donde haya un bajista haciendo solos. So concentrating on soloing and techniques might not always be the best thing. Así que concentrarse en técnicas y solo no es siempre lo mejor. I don't think Paul McCartney spent a lot of time on his finger techniques. No creo que Paul McCartney haya pasado demasiado tiempo estudiando técnica de esta manera. He played amazing bass, sang incredibly, and wrote some of the greatest music in history. Pero tocaba el bajo gran puta y hacía buenas canciones este, y cantaba. So my point is, yeah, I enjoy the technique and the technical difficult things and learning more, but I always remember that Paul McCartney. Y a le divierte bueno la técnica, hacer solos y tocar rap y hacer todo eso, pero en el fondo Paul McCartney. Or James Jamerson on the Motown records, very simple player, but just incredible. James Emerson y los tipos de Motown que eran impresionantes también y muy básico. So I'm happy to show anybody any technique you want. My pleasure. Así que va a estar encantado de mostrar cualquier técnica. But I always want to warn you that it's not always the most important thing. Pero no siempre lo más importante. Uh, ¿Qué aprende? <laughs> Comprende. Okay, for my first uh, first question, ask her. I have a hold up there for my uh, Pablo, are you here? In my base case is uh, my uh, prizes in the little pocket. Many guys, when they do a clinic, they sell things. I like to give things away. There's <laughs> more questions, so they're hoping that there's more stuff. <laughs> It might say big, fat, stupid idiot. Puede decir alguna cosa un poquito más complicada que lo que es Rosy. Thank you for answering the first question. All right. So how's that? Okay? Does it make sense? Clinic is okay? Yeah. Enjoy? Good? So far? There's more. Who has the next question? Next one, actually. ¿Cuál es básicamente tu, tu secreto como para ser un rockstar, digamos, para tener tu técnica, tu sonido? They're asking for the secrets for your sound and your technique and your amazingness. The secret, the recipe. I can't tell. It's a secret. You build it. Well, there's no, really, there's no secret. No, no secret. Study. Everything I do, I write about, there's articles about, there's documentation, there's videos of my gear, my bass, my fingers, everything. De todo lo que él ha estado comentado en técnicas, en videos, en artículos, por ahí está todo ahí, ¿no? I try to make no secrets, actually. No tiene ningún secreto porque está todo ahí, lo pueden ver en cualquiera de esos videos o los métodos o lo que fuera. What is it that you are most interested in? ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es lo que está realmente más interesado? Eh, básicamente, si a lo largo del, del tiempo si fue, eh, su, su, digamos, su técnica, su, su, su sonido, fue lo que lo catapultó, digamos, a, a la fama, solo eso, digamos. He's wondering what, what, what made you famous, right? From, from some guy played the bass to Billy Sheehan just being 
next star? If it was your technique, your speed, your what? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, um, uh, one one thing really did, uh, and this is the first time I ever did this, but I gotta show you what really, the real reason is. I'm gonna be this with the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a second, a new shirt. I've been one thing through my whole life. I've been this and I will always be this, and that is relentless. Is that, uh, in Espanol, what would you say relentless? <laughs> Voy a pasión de que no, 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 no para, no hay nada que, no hay nada que, está siempre tratando de ir más allá. It's a concept, it's a, this was concept to say just one word, so I just explain. Okay, okay. many words. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, anytime I have trouble, difficulty, barrier, I keep on pushing. Cada vez que hay un problema, que vea que hay una barrera, le da y le da y le empuja y empuja y se sale. That's on base and in life. En el bajo y en la vida. And the uh, base and life sometimes are parallel. Y el bajo y la vida a veces van bastante paralel. There is nothing you can't do on base. No hay nada que no puedas hacer en bajo. If you work hard enough and long enough, you can do anything. Básicamente practicar y trabajar y estable. I think life is like that too. Como la vida. And uh, even writing a song sometimes is like that. Y a veces escribir una canción es lo mismo también. And come up with an idea and a lyric or a melody, and you just gotta keep going until you get it. I see it's interesting with songwriting. People sometimes write one song in two or three years, and they have the one song that they wrote. Sometimes I throw away five songs in a day. Y a veces hace cinco que están para tirar igual, pero rápidamente en solo un día. Keep writing, writing, writing until I find something better. Y es escribir hasta que encuentren algo que realmente les guste. So en inglés, relentless means to keep on going. Sí, es, es, es ser bien como de estar judo y darle, darle, darle. No importa lo que se tenga encima, por pues, seguir dando. And in music, sometimes it's difficult. Y a veces en música es complicado. Sometimes there's no money. Eh, no hay plata. Uh, the audience doesn't care. Uh, la audiencia en no one will listen to your music. Nadie te va a escuchar la música. Many troubles. Hay un montón de problemas. But remember, every musician went through the same thing. Pero todos los músicos pasaron por esto en algún momento. Every musician got rejected. A todos los rechazaron en algún momento. Every musician had a hard time getting his music listened to. Todos tuvieron algún problema para que les escucharan la música. And they were relentless. And they Pero, became successful. Pero nunca pararon y... Okay. Thank you very much. Cool, man. Great. I have a